Hey guys, how you doing? Coming to you from my little favorite place in this little rental I have this week, man. I just can't seem to get out of this hammock. This bamboo just does it to me. I was sitting out here last night. Well, I meditated, you know, looking out onto this view last night. Energy in this jungle is crazy. And, um, yeah, I just, even after I meditated, I went back inside for a while. And then I just kept finding myself being drawn to come back to this hammock. Really nice out here. I like this little porch. The other cabin has a little bit better view, but I wouldn't have, I wouldn't trade it. This is just uh, great. So that fruit yesterday that I was telling you about, I'm having for breakfast this morning. I already had a green smoothie. I've been up. I was up earlier today. No monkeys so far. A little bit. I was hoping. I, I won't say I'm disappointed. There ain't nothing disappointing about this trip. It's great. Um, did a little incident yesterday always something i think my brain's dyslexic it's telling me that i'm 15 instead of 51 like i really am i'm getting all these kids injuries i uh <laughs> algae grows in the rainy season here hello i'm not a tourist i've lived here 16 years well my foot hit a wet spot yesterday and i took a little slide and i went down and i twisted my knee i don't know if you can see that i scraped it scrape you can't I couldn't even feel that but I twisted my knee a little bit and I'm hobbling around it's really hard to walk if it's a uh, level ground I can hobble along but it's really tough going up and down so eh, it's no big deal I almost started to do a sarcastic video to come on here and piss and moan but oh my poor leg what's life gonna be now you roll with the sit. The reason I was going to do that is because people are all like, you have some of the people. Go, well, I want to show you the bad because I think it's fake when all the YouTubers just show you good stuff all the time. I guess I just don't like to piss and moan a whole lot. And I don't imagine that too many people care about my little aches and pains. But it is what it is. It's not going to stop me from doing stuff on this trip. I'm still going to that potluck today. Did I say I already had my green smoothie? I had my green smoothie this morning, and then I decided to cut into this deliciousness. This is that fruit I told you yesterday, and I did forget to put Chris Kendall's link uh, down there, or put it, uh, or mark him. So we don't. I mean, I love Chris; is a good guy, but I don't need him now. I know this. It's um, biriba, B-I-R-I-B-A. Now. Ever since I did see this, uh, Chris Kendall was the first time I had seen this, and I just took my first bite a few minutes ago. And, you know, sometimes when people are describing these fruits, they describe it with something that's more, that most people would know. And you eat a bite, and it's like, yeah, not really. I mean, it may be good, but it's just like, nah, I don't see where you're getting that from. But he said it tastes like, um, kind of like a lemon custard. It's kind of a neat, hard fruit to get into. And it's got these big black seeds, but it's still good. He said it tastes like a lemon custard. And I'm going to tell you, he's not lying. This, this is like, wow, this is like a damn pie. This is like eating pie. Um, mm. Citrus, yeah, definitely. Being an old southern boy and liking this, to me, very, very similar to key lime pie. Very, very similar to key lime pie. This fruit, my, I mean, a few of these fruits that I'm finding here. Excuse me. Not the most delicate way in the world, but they had a mouthful of seeds. I tell you, just a, a couple of the fruits that sound like, uh, okay, I haven't had the meme, I mean, the chocolate sabotes yet. I'm hoping they're going to be ready by tomorrow. But just these two fruits could be could be enough reason for me to pick up steaks and move. I mean, this is just like, this is, <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I'm trying to think if you could get this flesh out. I don't know. Maybe it's too kind of custardy already. I was saying, wonder if you could get this flesh out and make some sort of a nice cream with it. Hmm. One thing that's nice too, I guess probably because of the insects and what have you. There's a communal kitchen here. And a lot of my fruits I don't generally put in the refrigerator, but sometimes in certain places, if you're in the jungle, you need to do that because you know you're gonna attract bugs, attract a lot of ants, what have you. 
So the guy that takes care of the place put, put my bags of fruit in the refrigerator last night. Well, now that just even made it even better with this because it just tastes like a cold custard, like it's supposed to. I mean, this is like beast key lime pie, man. I'm having key lime pie for breakfast with no dairy, none of the bad processed BS in there. So, if you ever make it to a country that's tropical, that has this fruit, I would highly suggest you eat it. You won't be disappointed. This is a this is a fruit of kings right here. I'll have to see when I go to the market tomorrow. I don't think this I'm I don't think it was an expensive fruit, but hell, what would I pay for this down here? Even if it was super expensive, I'd like pay five. I know it's not five dollars. I'd pay five dollars for it. It's that good. Mm. <laughs> and they didn't inject any dairy in here. It's got a, it's cr so creamy. So creamy. Anyhow, I'm blissing out over this. Just wanted to stop and show you this fruit. Lovely breakfast. My lovely breakfast spot. Um, I may not only want to move to here. I might want this cabin. I should see if this guy has monthly deals. He's got to make money though. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be feasible. <laughs> Plus, I'd probably need my own kitchen in my place. But anyhow, this is just ah, gorgeous. Waking up to day two, going to a little um, fruit luck here in a little while. About ten, ten thirty. Life is good. Life is good, even with a hobbled knee. Listen, when we have difficulties. We don't need to piss and moan and let it ruin our whole day and bring down everybody around us. Did, did you get that one? Bring down everybody around us by complaining. I used to be a complainer. We adapt and we move on. That's all we can really do. You're going to have to do that anyway. So, yeah, just adapt and move on without the pissing and moaning. Anyhow, love you guys. Peace.